Hello everyone and welcome to Callie's Corner on Unfiltered Gamer. I'm Callie and today I'd love to sit in this cozy little corner with you and talk about what are modern board games. Now for a vast majority of people when they think board games they reminisce back into their past and think of games like Monopoly, Candyland, Sorry, The Game of Life, and so on. Now, if you mention any of those to a modern board gamer, you might get a face like this. Not that there's anything inherently wrong with the classics, as we call them, and a lot of people have great nostalgic memories of playing these games with their friends and family. It's just that once you've gotten a taste of these modern board game mechanics that really call to you, like bluffing your way into smuggling counterfeit goods, or making a trade with someone to your advantage, or working together to escape an island. Once you've had a taste of some of those, some of these classic board games just seem a little stale in comparison. Like they're not really a uh, part of the industry. They're just kind of in a different category. For me, two of the main things that distinguish a classic board game from some of the modern ones are the level of luck, and the level of player choice and agency in the game. Those classic games we mentioned rely a lot on luck. So mechanics like rolling a die to move or drawing a random card, those are completely luck based. When we talk about mechanics, we're talking about the action or main gameplay of the game. Not to say modern board games don't also utilize some luck based mechanics, but usually they will do so in some, with some way to mitigate that luck, adding more player choice and strategy to the game. Just like you have the choice to hit that like button if you happen to be enjoying this video. Modern board games introduce and mix a plethora of game mechanics like bluffing, set collection, worker placement, tableau management, and so much more. There's so many. Modern board games are for everyone, and I make this statement because I believe that there is a game out there for everyone. For every person, there's a type of game that they will enjoy. If you want to learn more about some of the different types of games that are out there, ways that we categorize games in, in the market to find games for you or for other people, please check out my video on the different types of board game categories. The link will be in the description below. So. If modern board games are so wonderful, why aren't they even more popular? The board game industry is growing with a estimated US market of over 7 billion, but that's still nowhere near, say, video game. Well, in my theory, there are a few different barriers to building the board game community and industry. Mostly, I think it boils down to having good, first gameplay experiences with a good group of people. Some games are just not going to resonate well with you and the same thing for the other people around your table. Additionally, if learning the rules from the get go isn't a good experience, whether because the person introducing the game isn't familiar with teaching it yet, or you're trying to read the rule books yourself, then that can be a big barrier to having a good experience with the game overall. I also have a video with tips on how to read and understand rule books. So if you're interested in that, I'll link it below as well. What can we do to help mitigate these barriers and help more people have great first experiences playing modern board games? There are what we call gateway games. And these gateway games are a little bit easier to learn and play, a little bit easier to find, and also give a taste for some of the modern board game mechanics that are out there. So here today I've gathered a few examples of some of the different gateway games that are out there and that I'd like to share with you. Here we have Settlers of Catan, a very popular game that can be used to introduce resource management, area control, and a social aspect of trading resources. Here we have Ticket to Ride, another very popular game, which we can use to introduce concepts like set collection using more familiar concepts like Rummy. And here we have Seven Wonders, which can also be used to introduce resource management and tableau management. I don't have it here, but Carcassonne is a great game to introduce tile placement 
and meeple placement. And meeples are those cute little wooden people tokens that are really fun to play. Sheriff of Nottingham is another one that we bring out constantly to introduce concepts like bluffing and hand management. And it can build on some familiar game concepts that people might understand like go fish and poker. Another game I like to mention is Monopoly Gamer, probably the only Monopoly game I'd want to play. And it's great to introduce variable player powers, which are unique special abilities that each player will get. Up here we have Forbidden Island, which is a great way to introduce cooperative gameplay, where everyone around the table is trying to work together to achieve a certain goal, playing against the game or against time. The Mind is another little game we like to bring out to introduce the games about cooperation, this time without being able to communicate with words. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. I hope after watching this video, you're as excited as I was to dive into modern board gaming and learning and playing lots of different games. Or if you're already a part of the community, maybe sharing this video with people you'd like to give a little taste of what modern board games are, maybe try to convince them to try and play a game with you. If you found this video informative, please give it a like and a share. And if you'd like to join the unfiltered board game community, we'd love to have you. Subscribe for more videos or join our Patreon. Our Patreon funds go towards giving away board games on our Wednesday night live streams and on our website, unfilteredgamer.com. This is Callie from Unfiltered Gamer signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.